Here in Australia, we have one of the most moronic, ill-conceived welfare payments that's ever been devised. In fact, it takes pride of place as the main attraction in the museum of stupid government decisions. With fucking big spotlights on it. I'm of course speaking of the baby bonus, a $5,000 bonanza handed straight from my taxes to whatever bogan happens to spread her legs. Our politicians somehow thought this was a good idea in addressing our ageing population, but it's got me fucked how as you really have to question the strength and the commitment of the maternal instincts of anybody who sees a $5,000 jackpot as a motivating factor to them squeezing out an urchin. And people are still bewildered when hearing of babies being left locked in vehicles in casino car parks. Well, obviously it's straight from maternity to the mahjong tables. Oh, Jack, you're being a bit unfair, as it's very handy for those who actually want children or have an unplanned pregnancy. Well, that's all nice and fucking dandy, but if the bonus didn't motivate the boner, then logically they shouldn't be entitled to it. Our kid was unplanned. I mean, the one shot where one night the missus was able to balance the thin line between being drunk enough to find me sexually attractive, but not quite drunk enough to be rushed to hospital suffering alcoholic poisoning, and no pricks stuffed our wallets. You see, the need to reproduce is a natural biological urge to ensure the survival of a species. But by subsidising this urge, you're effectively bypassing natural selection. Like with any species of animal that nurtures their young, becoming a parent means willingly making sacrifices. Do you see lions demanding handouts from the rest of the pride because they want to minimise the impact that raising cubs has on their lives? No, they go out and hunt twice as hard for as long as it takes to look after their own cubs themselves. But... Not us. Being a parent for some reason runs a very poor second to maintaining a career, meaning once again I have to foot the bill by subsidising childcare in an effort to minimise the impact of parenting for someone else. Never mind that my wife set up a home office, sometimes working until 3 in the morning between changes and feeds, while I clocked up 20 hours overtime per week when raising our kid, as long as you blokes can still afford your iPads, SUVs and 3D TVs. But what pisses me off most about this low-impact style of parenting is while all this money is pouring into making life easier for them, our public school system has deteriorated to a point where I've been forced to put my kid in a private school just so she can get a decent education. So now not only am I subsidising you and your kids, I'm now forking out an extra six grand a year to look after mine. Oh, and a final word about the public school system. They contacted me a full three weeks after we'd left to tell me my daughter wasn't in school that day. Fan-fucking-tastic. Fan